All right, guys, and welcome. This video is gonna be a really quick walk around of our biggest canopy. So before we get started, let's play a game. How many components are in this build, excluding fasteners? So no nuts, no bolts. But this one, we're gonna run around real quick. The camera's on 40%, so we've got no choice but to be quick. So let's get into it, guys. So, two meter long tray on a ramp, 2,500. The canopy is full length, meaning two meters long by two meters wide. Um, toolboxes all the way around, so it's a fully decked out tray. Toolboxes down the bottom, they all slide out. Waterproof, dustproof, lights inside at central locking. Turn that off before I close it up. Headboard water tank, we've got 60 litres of water in the headboard. We've got 82 litres of water underneath the tray. Single fill point, single uh, uh, out, out point, exit point. So gravity feed from the headboard into under tray and then out the bottom via a pump. Uh, rear toolboxes, 63, yeah, 63 litres on 408 millimetre slides. Absolutely huge capacity there. Um, that is a tray fully powder coated black. Um, so your texture of black, scratch resistant, um, doesn't hold the dust either, so it's a really sweet powder um, that we use. Inside this is, yeah, the biggest canopy that we can do um, with literally every single millimetre packed out on it. Um, we've done quite a few of these now. Um, weight is really important on this one here. So as this car sits right now, Ram 2500 with a full tray canopy package, it is about 4.3 tonne. So, if you are going to be going to this extent in tray canopy, you need a 5.3 GVM at a minimum. If you can get the 5.8, definitely do it. All right, so that was cut one. The camera's gone from 45 to 38, so we're literally got to get this done. Pull out appliance kitchen. If we pull all this out, we have a kitchen that has everything in it. At the moment, we've only got the microwave and the travel buddy installed, but this slot here is also for a coffee machine. Up here is storage for a toaster and also a sandwich press. So make sure with the coffee machine that you can get the pod lever all the way open. That's why it's got this cutout in here. And then also you can top up and remove the water canister at the back. That's why this cutout's here. Slide that away. Bushman 130 litre fridge. Pull out pantry. Comes all the way out, access from both sides. And then at the back here, rear GPO. Um, so that um, power runs all the way to the front where the uh, microwave and everything's hooked up to. Uh, USBs, pull out drawer here, pull out drawer, and then the pull out under stainless bench. So basically every single canopy that we're gonna be doing moving forward will have the stainless bench on the uh, passenger side. It is very, very common. It is rare we ever do one without it. Uh, so they're gonna be standard um, on passenger side. All canopies, in the, uh, all drawers in the canopies, passenger side have the bench included now. All right, so we've swung to the other side. Battery's down at 34%. Keep guessing how many parts are in this build, all right? So yeah, exclude nuts and bolts, but everything, all the sheet metal, all the machinings, all the bits, the electrics, you name it. Have a guess, comment below, get involved with, uh, I don't know, give some stubbies away for the person who gets closest. So, before, before I go any further, this configuration, you can buy straight off the website. So this one here yeah, is the most extensive build we'll do in the American range. The only difference to this one, to what we're gonna be offering moving forward, is this drawer here. So all drawers on the driver's side are storage only, so no benches. All drawers on the passenger side are for kitchen and uh, food prep, so that's why we include the drawers on those side there. So um, Evercool fridge, fridge freezer, so 40 liters, slides out like that. You can option this one, um, again, back to the configurations on the website, doesn't need to be an Evercool. You can option it as either um, a drawer or a drawer with bench. So when I say there's only um, drawers with uh, storage, you can have this one here optioned with a bench underneath it. Uh, two big drawers here. One, two. They come all the way out. Um, a lot of storage capacity there for sure. Um, and then we also make sure all our drawers are the same height, so it means if you ever look down there, that drawer on the uh, passenger side is the same height as this one, this one, and this one. It means you've got one level platform all the way through, which a lot of people request. So therefore, standard feature here at GCI Traytech. Roof storage up the top, just to maximize storage capacity in there. Um, and then we've got the Enerdrive Touring Pack. So guys, there is a few videos out now on this system. Is so much features packed into the one unit. Um, if you haven't seen it, I'm sure Anton will chuck a link in this video. Make sure you check it out. Um, one thing we probably haven't touched on is the dimmers in detail. This dimmer here is the master dimmer for all the lights. So um, dims all your canopy lights there. Um, you have your master control on off and then yeah, your dimmers up and down. 
Um, and then at light level up the top here, uh, you've got um, basically you can turn the whole thing off, you can turn the mozzie orange on, you can turn the white on as well as the orange, meaning it's a warm light, or you can turn the mozzie off and have a bright white there. So if you're chasing the ambience, setting the mood, go for the nice uh, warm light, if not bright white it is. All right guys, battery's down to 21%. We're doing quite well here, let's close it out. So the vehicle, we mentioned it right at the start, it's a Ram DJ2 2500. Um, brought in by SCD, the guys up at Brendow, Queensland. So these are becoming more and more popular as people want to do bigger and bigger touring rigs. So you need to be able to go up above, yeah, the uh, four or five um, into the light rigid range. So either the uh, five three, which the guys at SCD do, SCD do, um, or yeah, you can go up to a five eight as well um, if you want to go to that next level. So. Guys, this is probably much the most extensive build we can do here at GCI Tray Tech here in Australia. Um, there's not much else you can put on the back of a tray uh, or back of a ram. Um, obviously, caravan's the next thing. There is a rooftop tent coming in um, for this car as well, so on back order, uh, but we will be uh, getting it before delivery. So that will be really, really neat and it will finish it off tight and tie it all together really well if I can get my words out. Um, what's the battery at? 16%, all right, so guys, um, I'm gonna, we're gonna throw it to Tom. Um, thanks for sticking around. I'm gonna throw it over to Tom back at the office. He's gonna answer questions as per usual. And uh, yeah, cheers. Was reasonably uncomfortable. Yeah. Let's get cross legged. Nah. Hey guys, and uh, welcome to the carpool question time section uh, of the video. Uh, coming to you direct this week from Anton's brand new Poo Green Jimny. So, uh, as always, we're going to answer a few queries from our social media channels. Uh, first one up this week, we've got Justin. Uh, he's saying, Do you guys uh, have you guys done or will you do water storage in the headboard as well? So look, we do have some water storage uh, options in the headboard, not on every vehicle, unfortunately, just because of space considerations, but certainly all the American builds we do and Land Cruiser 200 series, we do a 60 litre headboard tank in there and that can be gravity fed or pumped. And new to our range in the Land Cruiser 79 series, uh, we can also fit a 20 litre poly tank to that once again can be gravity fed or pumped. Unfortunately, with the different size of the domestic cute range, so that's your Rangers, your Hiluxes, your BTs, there's not enough room for a meaningful headboard tank in there. So with those, we stick with the under tray tank. Um, another question, not from anyone in particular, but one we get asked a lot is, um, you know, can we buy your kitchen separately? Uh, can I buy a jerry can hold? Look, unfortunately, no guys, because our primary focus is on, we're tray and canopy builders. Um, so we do whole builds. So our accessory range is available exclusively for uh, people that are buying a uh, GCI Tray Tech tray or canopy. So Alice has already done the question to answer this week. So just a reminder on that one, uh, he's asked us how many individual parts are in the tray canopy package that he's just done the walk around on. Uh, really interested to see the answers. And there is a, uh, I believe a sticker and stubby uh, prize pack coming to the person uh, guesses correctly or the next closest guess. Um, thanks so much for watching this video. There is, al as always, more to come. Uh, but for now, goodbye for us, goodbye for my friend. See you next time. <laughs>